Okay, it is now time for our Bigger is Better project. And basically what's going to happen here is you're going to take an item of your own. As you see, I chose to do a book. I am doing Diary of a Wimpy Kid, which is a prism. You can choose either a prism or a cylinder. You're going to take this item and you're going to take a scale factor of something greater than one. So let's say you're going to dilate it by two. You're going to take this item and make a creation of the same item times the scale factor of two. So to start this process, we're going to walk through the steps of everything you're going to do daily because you have five days to complete this project. On Monday, you'll choose your item and then you're going to draw the original net. You take this item and trace each piece of it and get the net. Then I want you to cut the net out and you're going to find the surface area of this original net. This should all be completed come Monday. On Tuesday, you'll then take that surface area of your original net, use your scale factor to determine the surface area of your new creation. Once you've determined this, you're going to draw the net of your new creation and then I want you to cut out your net. So at this point, you should have two nets. You have your original net of your item, and then you have a new net for the creation that you're making. Now that we have this and we've done all of our math calculations, we want you to trace this net onto a poster board. Along with tracing this net, you need to draw tabs in certain spots. As you can see here in these pictures, these tabs, you're going to use these in order to bend and help with gluing or taping this project together so that it becomes a 3D object. But as you can see in some of these pictures, you have to be careful of where you put your tabs. I wasn't very careful and I put a tab where it went over, over two areas that end up bending. So in order to fix this, I just cut my tab in half. And now it'll bend together with the item. So that's not going to be a problem. This should all be done by day two. Okay, now we are to Wednesday. This is Wednesday. You're going to come in, you're going to grab your poster and your stuff, and now it's time to cut out your creation. So you take your poster board, you lay your, your new net on top of your poster board like this, as you see in the picture. You're going to cut it out. Cut out. Do not cut across those tabs. you got to cut out along the tabs so that they're connected to your poster board. Don't make that mistake. All right, now is the fun part. You can start beginning your artwork. You can do what I, like if you see in my picture, I knew that my skill factor was 2. So if your skill factor is 2, what percentage is that? Very good, 200%. So I took mine and I photocopied it at 200%, which gave me the correct size and scale factor of my drawing. Or you can draw it because there's so many of you guys who are so talented in this class. And if you know your drawing is in a 4x4 four four square area, then you would know in your second net it would be an 8x8 eight eight square area. Okay? So... You just have to be able to prove to us how you did the scale factoring of your artwork. So this is the fun stuff. Come Thursday, you'll come in and you'll finish up your artwork. And then you'll take a ruler, and I have one at your yardstick here, and use this to help you fold along the net lines. Okay? So you're going to fold along it, and that way, you, when you go to fold it, it folds straight, and you know exactly where you're folding. Which something I forgot to mention earlier, on the back of your poster board is when you're going to draw the lines of your net, as you see here in this photo. And that's going to show you where exactly you need to fold. So now you're going to assemble your creation, and come Friday should be small final touches, and you should prepare for your presentation, and then we're going to present on Friday. Now let's look at your worksheets. All right. Worksheet 1 is going to go on top. It's going to give me my calculations. And there's two lines at the top of the paper. I need both names of the partners. If there's a third, just put it in the middle. Your second worksheet 
is where it gives you the daily checklist so you can check it off as you go and you know what your grades are going to be. You have a participation grade. You get 20 points a day for this. On Wednesday, if you're where you're supposed to be, you'll get a 100 homework grade. And on Friday, you're going to get a project and a test grade. Your presentation will be a, pres a project grade, and your final project will be a test grade. So that should be a good, easy test grade for you. The third sheet is your math is uh, your calculation sheet where you can do all your math so we can see your work. And the last sheet are the rubrics. So you know from here on out, from today, you know exactly what you need to do to score the grade that you need to score. If you score a 20, you get 100 and so forth. So on um, your presentation, and then you can read your rubric for the actual entire project grade. All right. So you guys have fun with this. Get creative. And I can't wait to see your projects. It's going to be some fun, exciting stuff. So... I'm just excited and good luck.